So we have a couple of silly season things to go over today, including a familiar face returning to the Cup Series. And it sounds like there is a couple of potential driver announcements over the weekend in Michigan. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. This has been a very entertaining silly season, even on the Xfinity Series side as you'll find out in a moment, a very interesting, entertaining, silly season, a lot of moving around by drivers. I remember on Door Bumper Clear months ago they were acting like it was going to be musical chairs for silly season. I was like, oh, it can't be that bad. But it is that bad. There's a lot of drivers that are moving to new places, it seems like. But one of those drivers is actually returning to the Cup Series with Colleg Racing, and that is A.J. Allmendinger. Of course, not all that long ago, A.J. was running full-time in the Cup Series, even got that huge win at the Roval, a very almost heart-wrenching moment his interview he was just so hyped even a little bit distraught you knew you can see it in his eyes that he didn't know if this would be his last win or not and we knew that his future was up in the air at colleague especially on the cup series side well with reportedly a lack of sponsorship aj allmendinger moved back to the xfinity series to colleague being a Real team player, real mature about things, I'd say. But now he's back. I think Colleague Racing has realized and has listened to a lot of us because I think a lot of us said at the time that that was a mistake. Colleague is looking to improve and they talk about trophy hunting. And to do that, you have to put your best driver out there. Is AJ Allmendinger the best driver in NASCAR, even like a top five, top 10 guy? No, he's not. But he's been great for Colleague. He's He's the best driver to ever race for Colleague. I can say that much. And he went out there and won at the Charlotte Roval straight up. Did had a great race overall. Did pretty well in his last season on in the Cup level. I think this is a great move by both sides, AJ Allmendinger and Colleague. I'm not sure what the future is for the 31 next year for Colleague. I'm not sure if Hemrick's gonna return. I've Heard that he probably won't, but I guess we'll find that out at a later date. But congratulations to AJ Allmendinger. I think he'll probably win a race next year. But I said he'd win a race this year, and he's he's yet to win. So we'll have to see what happens. But I'm very excited to see Dinger back full-time in the Cup Series. All right, now let's get to some of those potential driver announcements. These could also just be team move announcements. First of all, there's two announcements that are to be made on Saturday before the Xfinity Series race. One by an unnamed team. This team actually had an announcement planned for last weekend at Richmond and it got rescheduled to this week. I'm not sure why that is. I'm thinking this is a driver announcement, potentially a driver announcement for either spire or track house maybe front row not exactly sure which team but those would be the teams that i'm thinking i feel like i'm i'm kind of leaning towards track house just because track house is like they're all about entertainment and the end them not coming out right away saying that this is them maybe they want to make it a big surprise and pretty entertaining maybe they bring svg out on stage and everybody gets hyped like it's comic-con or something but i'm not sure i'm just having fun with it overall i don't know who this announcement could be for it might not even be a driver announcement like i said and then the second announcement on saturday is a driver announcement as the haas factory team formerly known as and currently actually known as Stuart haas racing will be announcing their Xfinity Series driver lineup. It sounds it sounds like it will be a two-car team, and it sounds like we know who the drivers are. One of them sounds like a sure thing, and that being Sheldon Creed. Sheldon Creed has been linked to Haas over the last 
couple of weeks and even earlier the earlier in the week on on door bumper clear they pretty much let the cat out the bag that creed is making the move over to the haas factory team but the other ride i'd say is the one in question i think a lot of us including myself from the rumors we heard a couple of weeks ago it sounded like it was going to be Haley deegan it sounded like it was even almost a sure thing but it sounds like that's not the case anymore there's been a couple of different drivers that have been approached for this ride take it this take a look at this tweet actually from cow tracer cow tracer of course being a twitter account from the door bumper clear guys i think it's brett and freddie maybe tj is involved too can't remember exactly whose account this is i think a couple of them share it but that doesn't really matter in this case they're going through a couple of different drivers that were approached or linked to this ride pretty much shutting all that down but with the way the set the sentences are lined up they're cut a little bit short and they're lined up in the way where the first letter of each sentence spells out mayor some people have been pointing this out in the replies of this tweet and i would agree that it sounds like maybe sam mayor is making the move over to the Haas factory team, which would be a huge surprise to me. That'd be a huge surprise if he leaves Junior Motorsports to go over there and not a Cup Series ride. Very interesting move if that is the case, but we'll have to see. I'm not as sure about that one as I am about Sheldon Creed. And then on Sunday before the race, RCR will be making a team announcement. I think there's many things that this could be. It could be a driver announcement. It could just be a new charter. Maybe they purchased a charter. Maybe it's something to do with the Xfinity Series program. Maybe it's personnel. One thing I've been thinking with all these people leaving Stuart Haas, maybe they go after someone like Greg Zipidelli. I don't I don't know. I think there's many things that this announcement could be. It could even relate to the Richmond stuff last week. I don't think so. I think this announcement was probably planned weeks ago. But who knows? I think this one is a big question mark on what it what it is. I would lean towards either being personnel, someone like a Greg Zipidelli being brought in, or the announcement of the purchase of a third charter. I think it's probably one of those two things, but we'll have to see. But what do you think about all this? Give me your thoughts down below. Do you think it's a good move by both Colleg and Dinger to move back to the Cup Series together? I think, I don't know if they'll necessarily find great success. I think Colleg is at a big struggle point right now, but that's putting your best foot forward. He's the best guy you got. He's the best... He gives you the best chance to win a race and make the playoffs. And what do you think these announcements could be? What do you think that mystery announcement could be? Do you think it could maybe, are you thinking maybe like me that it could potentially be a team like Trackhouse that really want to get a very just entertaining surprise announcement for 2025? Maybe Front Row? Maybe Spire? Who do you think is going to be part of the Haas Factory Team Xfinity Series lineup? Like I said, I think Sheldon Creed is sounds like a sure thing for one of those spots. I'm thinking that second spot might be Sam Mayer, but give me your opinion. Do you think Sam Mayer, maybe Haley Deegan, Ryan Priest? Let me know. And also, what do you think is the RCR mystery announcement? Also, if you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week, but that'll do it for me. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle, a.k.a. Racing Boy Short, saying peace.